So before we get into today's video, I just want to say that the E36 giveaway is still live on the site, shopdjnoway.com. Go check it out. There's only one week left to get entered, so stop sleeping. This can show up to your door free of charge to the lower 48 states. All you have to do, buy a digital download on the site, and just like that, this could show up at your doorstep. So with that being said, go check it out, and let's hop into today's video. We got the mics out, Sal, tell them what's going on. Supervised, some crazy shit's going on, you know, I'm just watching. I mean, you can rip it if you want. Hey, take it for a ride, it's got full BBR front and rear. So tonight we had, we had a little stag. I bought a Milwaukee tool set and I won it back in the raffle, baby, right there. With a gift card. We're at the shop late night, Dagnell got a drive shaft. Aluminum, he got this one out. Shaft. Replaced it with a, an alum, aluminum one. When, when parts start looking poor, I just buy a new. Richie wow. bought brand new wheels for his E36. I did. So tonight, he can put some wheels on it and burn them off. Is that what, it, is that what he's doing, Dagnell? Get to it! Look up, little mock up. I mean, these are rare. These are rare wheels. I think these are just. These are better than these. I wouldn't go that far. So. I'd go that far. These are euros. <laughs> Look at the meat on them, Richie. You see the meat on these? Oh yeah. You're gonna burn them, Richie? Oh yeah. Have no. Straight to I'm the wire. Straight to the wire. I got a an impact gun. What are you using a breaker bar for? <laughs> G Grand Prix is about to begin. And this flare. We've been waiting for the time to light it off. And Ant is going to be the person in the middle of the circle holding the flare. Huh? That thing is so easy. I don't know where. Orion. Stand in the circle. Right, it's going to go the crazy. To come down. Rich, you got the if it'll light. Yeah. Nah, I won't light it. Yeah, but what's going on? I don't know. It, it needs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dynamite stick. So Richie's uh, filling up the air in his tires right now. We're checking the road flares, so just to make sure everything is very just safe. And Should have brought out the plutonium bomb. We're saving that for the you know what. Saving that for the you know what. Place. Later. Yeah, that's the place that we gotta go. Cut that. I'll cut that, Rich. Can't. And can I ride on the back? This ain't mine. Where's mine? Right. <laughs> See what Richie's car could do, people. That was good. Oh, shit. You're good. Let it cool down a minute. I'll do a better one. What? Yeah, no nuts. Yeah. yeah. It's neutered in second. That one decent. I thought that was good. <laughs> that was like four or five. <laughs> things. Trying to come back around. That LSD. It's hard the opposite way. That LSD is everything. It looks good. And shout out to me for the um supplying the tires. So let's, let's not shout forget, out to Jimmy forget for that. The for the, for the diff. What about me with the tires, Sal? Yeah, but the diff does more. So we're at the uh, we're at the pits with Richie's car right now. The hood doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it wants to close. I say you just slam it. No, you're not dropping it right. No. Going to BMW before people watch how you drop the hood. Yeah, he knows. Fucking you. See? I told you. You can't do that. What? Now where you did that? You did that. Let me see. I told now you that is straight. With this car. Ready? Don't fucking wait. Why? 
Exquisite. Shot. Moan to BMW, my day, people. That big is shot. Back in the circle, light the flare, and blow we're the tires off. <sighs> you gotta burn this baby. You gotta burn them. Dag Nelson, what are we trying to do to get Richie out there for the next lap? Oh, you know? she's hot. This is gonna be take two of Richie trying to, uh, he's trying to drift here, people. We have a flare here for precautionary issues. Put your seatbelt on, Richie. There you go. Look at him. Put his seatbelt on. <laughs> there we go. Hit that motherfucker, Richie. <laughs> That curve. Nah, you had room. Nah, it was close. That curve? He was just now. I thought I was going right into that curve. He's six. He's, keep it rolling. It's rolling. He's got an S54 in it. In uh, E36. Yeah. Just yeah, we'll just back up a little bit. <laughs> just in case. Tesla owners, they want to, they want to inspect. See what they're missing out on. Hit it. <laughs> She burned it down tonight. Is it even filming? Absolutely, it's filming. You're hitting every pothole possible. Baby, it's a low car. <laughs> it's not a pothole. We're going home tonight. We're gonna go play with our snake. We're gonna go play, yeah. Baby, put it down. We'll pick up on this video tomorrow. <laughs> and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the shop. I walk by this thing every day with uh, regret. And I just, I'm um, I'm a loser for not showing the attention she deserves. But the 997, we will be cutting it today. We have to cut the rear in preparation of the uh, LS to go in it. First things first, if you guys seen in the last video, we took the tires off of the 13 because the Minervas are in desperate need of some fresh rubbers. I'm not talking Trojan, people. Man of the hour. Ryan won a golf tournament yesterday, people. No, Give him a round of applause. Tournament. Yeah, you did. No, I won closest to the pin on a hole, and I also won a, a sick raffle prize. But the anyways. The people aren't gonna know what that is. But anyways, are you ready to- I don't know what raffles are. Congratulations on your yeah. win, Bray. Are you ready to cut up a Porsche today? <coughs> have you ever cut up a Porsche today? <laughs> or ever? Yeah, matter? Definitely. You have. I doubt it, but <coughs> okay. Volkswagens don't count. So I've worked on Porsches at work. Yeah. In cut parts. Yeah. So you know, one of the first manual cars I ever drove was a Porsche, and I swear to goodness, Ow. I almost totaled it. They're throwaway cars like this one. This is why we're cutting it up. Back then. So I'm gonna supply Brian with a bunch of pictures. Don't. It's hitting the lip. It's hitting the lip though. It's not. Have the proper pads. We don't gotta worry about that. But anyways, we have to cut this rear bar out. And before you guys say this is structural, you're not wrong. It definitely is structural. But we have motor plates and chassis braces to uh, 
make it, you know. And yeah, we'll Brian's going to do a splendid see. job of cutting it. Uh, we'll so, see. so we got to cut it like here what? to here and up here. This whole piece essentially is going to be. Okay, so we're still connected to the rear body panel. And Brian, somebody did some before. did some stuff back here. Yeah, I know. You think the we could clean that up a little bit? Maybe. Well, that's what, now we got to cut up this thing and we got to rely on this piece to be good. Whatever. Yeah, fix it. That's gonna that's Look getting that's removed. This is getting removed. So I'm gonna show Brian some pictures so we can go over it. We're gonna have a little meeting and then we'll get the hacksaws out, the grinding wheels out, and we're cutting this thing up. Most expensive car I've ever bought. I'm gonna let Brian cut it up. Who Which he it? I know. It's getting an LS in it, Brian. There's no going little, back. It's sort of been easy to fix. Yeah, right, but maybe a little dumbasses. More work and a little less back talk. <laughs> So after looking at the pictures, do you kind of understand a little bit where to cut it? It's pretty self-explanatory, but I wish we had the other plates, the motor mount plates, which we do not have as of now. But we still could cut. We just, it's, it's hard because the plate sits like up here and he's kind of got a, kind of has to box this in where the existing motor mount went. Fucking car, Bri. Would this be considered making the car uh, totaled tonight? How does the car fax work after this? No. It's gonna it's be totaled. Nothing to do with anything. What do you mean? You just cut it's the it's rear end off of it. Just saying. Car fax wise, when I go to sell it, is it salvaged? Because we're cutting the. Car fax doesn't know what well, you don't tell them. Put it back in. First cut, rough cut, but if he did it free-handed. Start with just a straight. So Brad, what they caught, taught me at Platt Tech, you never want to do that method where it's the blade on the top or the bottom. You don't want to cut, use the blade for two different spots. In a dust lane, you're gonna get metal in his eye. Another one bites the dust, Bry. Right, can we get a little input, what you're thinking after the pictures that Tyler has sent us? The pictures, the pictures you've been looking at. You kind of understand what's, you know? Yeah. The plan of attack? Yeah. You're not just going for it. I would hope well, not. I guess I'm just doing it exactly how he did it. It's gonna come out great, okay. It's what Brian is trying to say. It's gonna come out good. We don't have the motor mount plates. But we could cut a good amount before we have those. And then if we got to clean it up, we're not going to box anything off quite yet. But this is obvious that needs to be trimmed. And then where the hood latch is, like over here, that also has to be trimmed back for the intake accessories and etc. What are you letting him do to your car? He's totaling it, James. That's fire. I love that. Why do you love that? Just because it's. Destruction. And it's progress. My car's totaled now. Well, Brian, it's like, you're good. Mans don't miss. Have you ever cut one of these dead cars up, Bri? Uh, I don't care what it is. You don't care if it's a 993 fucking turbo. I'll fucking be cutting. You tell him to cut it. He, he, says, he says, how deep? I don't think you were supposed to remove that piece you just cut out. Yeah, that's how you do. Oh, oh, this is this way so. closer than I thought. Oh my, no, that was a clip. That was a clip. Oh. <sighs> standing in plastic. <laughs> this thing's actually pretty sturdy. I think it's better that I don't watch you do this. Just trust, yeah, the, better, trust the process. You're better off not knowing how much you cut. We're well, gonna take a left turn, the car's gonna go <laughs> I hope not. This is Brian, Brian is gonna continue to cut that up. The Sima. I had to take the Meisters off because 
They didn't belong on it. I had to get tires for the Minervas. Diagnell's cleaning his little corner up. He's a surgeon when it comes to this type of shit, people. Metal only. What? Why are you Why are you playing over there? You're looking at me for reassuring. You tried cheating it. I tried to put. I had to mount some tires quick, and Brian is over here. Look at him, being all artsy, you know, with the dimple hole, right? Cut it out of the whole shit. Out of that. Very impressive, you know, repurpose the metal. You gotta, you guys gotta think about conserving the world. Recycle. Yeah, mm hmm I agree. Reduce, reuse, recycle. recycle. It's very important, Brian. Brian, we, we, gotta, we gotta recycle that. That's the trash. Oh shit, well we recycled metal. I think that's... They, they, they care more about the plastic. It'll balance the world out. What did, what did you do? Cut some metal out. We gotta plate some stuff in. Yeah, I mean, we're waiting we on the, pla the, the plates in. No, or do we get the engine in and then final? Yeah, cause we still might need to trim a little bit more. Be, it should be all of it, but if anything, I would think I got to take a little bit more here. But I kind of doubt that I do because I'm fucking good like that. I'm eager to get the motor test fitted in here because there's still a good amount that needs to be done. But the trimming was a huge milestone. Thank you, Brian. It was, I mean, there still might be some trimming needed, but we'll see once we uh, cross that bridge. People, a lot of material was removed in here. This is all weight saving. And on top of that, the LS is 80 pounds lighter than the factory motor that comes in the 997. Nobody's gonna notice the freaking weight difference. Power to weight, it's like double. The stock what? motor made, I think, like 280. This one should make 580, 600 with a little ex less weight. 600? That's what the dyno sheet said. Yeah, on, at the crank. At the crank. Yeah. Oh, whatever. If it makes. Yeah, I guess the Porsche probably measures it at the crank too. 280. Exactly my point. Um, if this thing makes 500 NA, I'm. I'm good with that. It'll hammer. I mean, it's a light car, lightish. Have you ever, car. ever been in my car on the highway? No. Mm -mm. Good fun. I bet. You could probably do like 200. I don't know. I raced a Z06 and a Z. ZR1. ZR1 ZL1. You didn't. You didn't race a ZR1. He got me. Yeah, I bet he, he did. Fuck it, cook. Brian's got to get once this is done. You know, once his drift car is done. His BMW needs to be resurrected. More, you gotta go deeper. Yeah. Race car stuff. He, Brian, Brian needs it, but first his drift car needs to be addressed. What are, what are you waiting on for that? When, just wiring an ECU. Yeah. Wiring an ECU. And, and, I mean, I got all the stuff today for the downpipe and exhaust. You know, I still oh, got a full exhaust. No, I didn't. That? I didn't see that. Is it here? So Brian's making great hayway on his car too. I mean, it may not look nice paint-wise now. That's a nice looking. It's good. No, it's, it's good. It looks like shit, but it looks like... Wiring an ECU. It's like three grand, people. People overlook that kind of shit, but that's what it is. Got the Minervas back on the Sima. The Meisters are back on the 13. The Sima needs an alignment badly, but yeah. Cut the Porsche up tonight. Huge shout out to Brian. Demo, you guys seen a little bit of everything and it looks worse before it looks better, people. I know it, it's, it's- You gotta tell yourself that because you're the one whining and I, crying while I'm cutting it with a Sawzall. You need to just shut up and wait till the end. I've never- Okay, I gotta I, use the tools I gotta use. I've never spent so much on a car, Bri, and you're cutting it. You know, it's a when little scary. Thought twice about cutting your hard-earned money. I mean, you, I, I, you, I, yeah, I can count a couple times. Cut up, 
and uh, test fit on the engine soon. We're waiting for some components for the trans and then we should realistically be able to fit it in the car once we have the plates and the uh, rest of the parts for the tranny. So let me know what you guys think. It was fun cutting the car up and I'm sure Brian had a blast doing it as well. What are you buying me for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Applebee's? I was thinking. <laughs> you, want, you want Golden Corral? This motor will be in soon and... Engine, whatever. You don't have to be one of those people, Bri. Motor, engine, wheel, rim. I don't want to hear it. Stay tuned. Teslas have motors. I'll catch you guys in the next one.